I've seen it on a couple other channels and it's like that's wild. Excuse me guys. Yeah. Time the sun is out, preferably not too hot, but even if it is, well, praise God. That's the last why we share our travel journeys, car and motorcycle shows, even just cruising around town. Life Outreach, 4716 Harrison Road. The Word of God says in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 4 and 5, For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function, so we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Hey y'all, praise the Lord. Welcome back to the channel. Today is day two of Corvettes at Carlisle. So as uh, we just parked not long ago, I happened to be right near where um, my favorite C7 would be. Now hopefully this shows up on camera here, but everybody knows that I want a C7, but it's a 2017 in one specific color and it's called Sterling Blue. So let's turn around and this first one this here is silver it's called blade silver but this one right next to it if you can tell that is called sterling blue it is a one-year color only found on the 2017s and that turned out to be my favorite color all right now that i've shown you that let's just walk around and see some of the cool cars that are here already When it comes to C3s, the chrome bumper front and rear is the way to go. And I know the yellow doesn't show up so well, but Corvette Passion. And that's exactly what this is. He has a couple signatures. Unfortunately, I'm not good at reading signatures. <laughs> and for a C7, here's the other color combo that I just love, the traditional Grand Sport colors. That blue with the white and red. And there's just something about that. A beautiful color on this mid-year. Wow. And it is a 66. Big block. Four speed. What a color. He come all the way down from uh, Vermont. That there is a really nice mid-year. And yes, even though there's a lot of C7s or and C8s, I would not kick any of them out of the driveway.
And this is the first time I've seen a rapid blue C8 with the natural dipped interior. I don't know if you can actually see in there or not. But that natural dip is nice. And it looks pretty cool with that uh, rapid blue. Now we're coming up upon the C6 that is very similar in color to the Sterling Blue, but this particular blue is called Carlisle Blue. It's close and it's another super nice blue. And here we go again. If you can see that, this here is the coupe. 2017 sterling blue with the chrome wheels yeah you came all the way from Tennessee but that color on these C7s I just I fell in love with it's classy oh man one day one day <laughs> you heading over? Yeah. Okay, have fun. You need to make sure I get one of these. Take as many as you like. And if you guys don't recognize him, this is Zippity's Garage. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, Zippity Duda. Zippity Duda. And he is sharing with everybody about the 30th care thirtieth anniversary of the caravan. So our plans are being with you guys yeah, out awesome. there. Go to CorvetteCaravan.com and you've got, you know, the different regions across the country. It doesn't matter where you are, but all roads lead to Bowling Green. And, right you know, on. My, like my shirt says, you can follow me to Bowling Green if you like, if you're on the Atlantic group. We're leaving from Carlisle here. The New England caravan's also leaving from this area. So if you're going to be at Corvette to Carlisle 2024, consider going with the Atlantic or the New England group. So it's going to be a fun trip. We're going to sure. win. When is it again? 2024. So it's over. Right, no, uh, when are the actual days down at the caravan? So basically 24 months from today. So it's the end of August leading into right. Labor Day weekend. Right, so okay. Corvettes at Carlisle is always the last weekend in August. Yeah. And Labor Day weekend is always the first weekend in September. So that time frame in between is the caravan. Gotcha. Gotcha, so, yeah. okay. And somebody that lives in Virginia can run with, there's a Virginia captain. So uh -huh. you, the information is on CorvetteCaravan.com. You go yeah. pick your local state or your local region. You know, Southern California, Florida. I think there's three caravans coming out of Texas. Because wow. Texas is so, so big. big. Yeah. You know, and what's really cool as the caravan gets closer to Bowling Green, generally they hook up with other caravans. Like Southern California is connecting up with Nevada. Nevada is connecting up with Oklahoma, and they get bigger and bigger and become mega caravans as they come into Bowling Green. Wow. So it's a really, really cool event. And that picture there, there was only one vehicle that was photoshopped out of that. And that was in, um, and believe it or not, that's actually me. <laughs> so, uh, didn't pay to be put in the photograph, but that was um, the 2014 caravan as we rove up uh, I-65 on the way to the on the way to the museum. Wow. Yeah. I can't wait. CorvetteCaravan.com. More information. So. All right, and awesome. Watch Zippity's Garage. Thank you for yes. the plug. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? And this here is Jeff's car, or one of the two. It's an 04 commemorative Z06. Woo! Let's get this back upright. And these are a sweet looking car. All right. These mid years, I just love them. That's a 64, 327 in it. It's a stick, and like I've said before, for me, mid-years just 
they need to be you know stick cars it has the knockoffs on it knockoff wheels but I love this color blue it's so similar to the other ones that I really like now look at this wow this first time seeing this this is actually the white uh, the ceramics matrix gray uh, people call white but uh, until they see it next to a white car but here is a white HTC the hardtop convertible with the Murillo red dipped that means everything everything that is some sort of nice and it is a shame that you can't get that no more they did away with it oh man but this is how I would like to have one of these in the white with the white nacelles uh, I want the natural dipped but that Murillo red looks incredible that means having the either the natural dipped or the Murillo dipped uh, it's a 3LT so it has all the bells and whistles golly that's nice all right and of course oh goodness a ZR1 2019 that is some sort of sweet with the low wing most everybody you see with these have the tall wing but I really like the low wing better that is some sort of nice that is the monster. Yeah. Awesome cars. Awesome cars. And don't worry, we're going to have a video dedicated to some C4s to give them the love. A very hated on car not sure why but when you remember what they are in the era the era that they came from then you'll uh, you, you can appreciate them and love them so this year already I'm seeing a ton of 17s in the sterling blue this one here is a grand sport it looks like uh, possibly stage two aero kit on it which means it comes with that beautiful rear spoiler spoiler with corsa exhaust some really nice wheels here hopefully you can see them and just a little disclosure when I say hopefully you can see the wheels it's because I cannot see the screen because of the Sun and so I don't know what really is being shown all right just so you can get an idea this C8 and this C7 is the ceramics matrix gray but in the background you can see a white car by themselves they do appear uh, white-ish but you can see the white C7 in the background and the big difference hey one of the Daytona pace cars for the duels that'd be kind of cool to get your hands on something like that And what's not to love about the hardtop convertibles? Oh, and even put the uh, clear engine cover so you can see the engine. That's kind of cool. But all that folds down on top of that, so you lose no, no storage space. He has the GT2 seats. It's a 3LT package yep 495 horsepower and so here we have a c6 z06 with the zr1 wheels on it 
in yellow that is sweet but then right beside it is the c6 zr1 638 horsepower from the factory which made it a monster of its day again the yellow i know doesn't come out but take a look at that blower right there or supercharger i mean the blue calipers zr1 those things are so nice and you see these are the z06 wheels now let me get over to the sun those are the z06 wheels like i have on mine this is a z06 but i love the chrome and here's the ceramics matrix gray ZR1 from 2019 with the black wheels, your blue calipers, and here's the tall wing. You see, that's why I guess I like the short one. But they are still a super nice car. 750 horsepower. It's insane. Wow, these are some cool wheels on this Z06. And that is nice. Carbon ceramic brakes. Wow. That is nice. Kalahari interior. Shoo. All right, y'all. So this here is uh, Dulop Channels. Uh, C4 Jeremy. I just got done talking with him over by the main stage uh, Because of music. There's no way that I could have uh, recorded it as the copyright stuff but um, he just did a video not long ago of putting the uh, stickers on his tires I'm trying to get a best uh, angle here To see if see if you like it or not He said he liked the uh, big uh, letters on it it really makes the car stand out which it does and I think it's pretty cool and there's his uh, channel Dulop and Dulop underscore 07 but this here is a nice car but uh, he was a really cool guy to talk with get it up here but he was a really cool guy to talk with and uh, he loves the Lord and uh, so uh, anyways yeah check him out and here we have I want to call it the Hulk Hogan edition but you got to have a couple years on yourself to remember Hulkamania with the yellow and red like that the Hulkster. <laughs> Here is a 96 collector's edition convertible. Oh, now look at this. Zeus bronze. With the natural dipped interior. Look at these wheels oh my goodness black caliper z51 package high wing but that natural dipped interior wow the natural dip just goes with that zeus bronze so well that is nice. Here we go. If you can see them, get some of the 72s in here special display for the 50th anniversary of them
All right, so this here is the 70th anniversary. The Corvette owners and fans are the only ones that can boast about their car, their favorite car being around for 70 years. That is nice. That is nice. You want to pause it. There's the specs on it. Definitely would not kick that out of the driveway. But here's where all the action is. This is the Chevrolet tent. And here is the new Z06. Oh, this has the carbon fiber wheels on it. It's the Z07 package. And there's your 5.5 liter flat plane crank. About 670 horses. Golly. Yes, I read the brochure, guys. Here it is in blue. That is so nice. I like these wheels here. <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of uh, tall wings or anything like that, but this is a very cool looking wing. And I don't know if they're going to have any over here. This here is a uh, Stingray. You can tell the difference with the uh, body blades not coming back. But I don't see any with just a spoiler on it. Oh, here's one. Okay. So here is a Z06. With the spoiler, let me get around to this side. With the spoiler instead of a wing. Boy, I like that. And this is a 3LT with the red dip. Wow. And these wheels. I like those wheels. Golly. I can see why people want this car. Still don't know if I would pay over MSRP the way some are. That's ridiculous. Super cool. Super cool. Those Z06 look good in any color. Wow. Finish the race. Second Timothy 4-7. This is a, a ministry that they have. And uh, Every year they're up here helping share the Word of God. As you can see right there. And here's some more. They got some super cool cars. Gimbal will work with me. Drag cars and stuff. Yeah. Shane Designs. We'll be back later to see these guys. This is the Orange Crush that is up uh, on the channel right now for a giveaway. And they got
got uh, the Inchain uh, Aero Kit on them. Here's the Tron car. That's pretty wild in person. I've seen it on a couple other channels and it's like, that's wild. Excuse me guys. Wow, but you got to be old enough to remember the original Tron movie to appreciate this. <laughs> it glows on the other side. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh, I hope that's picking it up. Ah, uh, have to dig out the phone too, I guess. Oh. Let's see if we can get all this. Yeah, see if the cameras can pick it up. That's cool. <laughs> that is very cool. That's awesome. This is where people have bought stuff from the store and getting it installed. And this here is how intense it is to put a new exhaust on a C8. As you can see, the whole rear bumper comes off. And if you can see the silver heat shields right there, they do make covers to black those out so you don't see them from, uh, from the back of the car. Whoo, that's a lot of work. And even a C7 here, how Rear uh, bottom fascia has to come off. These guys are hard at work this weekend. Why most of us are just enjoying. They're they're still at work. And boy, that C6 sounds really good. And this is only day two. And this one... He's making sure it's nice and tight. But as you can see the Borla exhaust, like right in here, they blacked out the uh, silver heat shields to make it look better when you look from behind the car. Somebody was doing it right. That is sweet. And a 2017 Grand Sport. Oh my. Did the wood interior in that. Now I've said that this, this uh, uh, Sterling Blue is classy, but let me tell you, that wood interior really sets the bar high. Wow, that's nice. Sterling blue, you've got to love it. Yeah, it is. One year. All right, y'all, back in the car, uh, heading out. And so we had a great day today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there was so much content out there. Uh, it's going to be hard to put it all in a video. So I'm just going to try to put the highlights in and uh, hopefully you do enjoy it. And um, if you did, hit uh, the like button, throw me a comment if you would, and then also, uh, you know, subscribe and hit that bell notification so that way you will see everything that pops up. All right, we love you, bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.